Hello, I'm First Alert Meteorologist David Reese on your side with your Tuesday evening forecast for WRBL.com. And a cold front rolled through earlier this morning. That means a cold night is in store for uh, just about everybody tonight as a result. All of our Alabama counties and northern, northern Georgia counties are under a freeze warning until tomorrow morning. In fact, you guys aren't alone. That freeze warning stretches all the way from southeastern Oklahoma through the southeast up the Atlantic seaboard towards New Jersey and southern Pennsylvania, all of Delaware, most of Maryland. And when all is said and done, parts of 21 states are under that freeze warning. The reason why is because we are expecting temperatures to dip down into the low to mid 30s by Wednesday morning. 35 degrees in Columbus and Birmingham, 33 in Montgomery, 34 in Atlanta. A lot of people have asked me, David, what's the frost potential going to be like? And here's the answer. It's actually rather low at this point in time, just because the winds are expected to stay between 5 to 10 miles an hour. Frost likes to form when those winds go really calm, and I don't think that's really going to happen. It may happen close to sunrise. So just to be on the safe side, I would urge you guys to bring in those younger plants that you may have just bought from Lowe's or Home Depot not too long ago. I was one of those guys a few weeks ago, so I had to do that before I rolled into work this afternoon. But after we get done with this cold snap Wednesday morning, we're actually looking good to go for the rest of the work week. That is until Thursday afternoon. Well, we'll see a little bit more cloud cover, but we'll still see enough sunshine to top out in the upper 60s, close to 70. And then another chance of rain develops across parts of our viewing area, thanks in part to that area of low pressure you see there in the Gulf of Mexico. And that is actually forecast to stay to our south, but we'll keep an eye on it regardless because if it shifts more to the northwest, we could actually see better shower coverage for everybody on Good Friday. But temperatures go from 64 degrees for your Wednesday afternoon back into the upper 70s as we head into Easter weekend. And look at that. Easter Sunday, we're looking under at a mostly cloudy sky with temperatures near 80.